hello guys welcome back in this video i am going to show you how to install ubuntu 18 and uh, how to configure dns for uh, name regulation in windows okay so first of all you can see i am on my host computer and uh, i opened oracle so click on new you need to install oracle virtual box okay and that you can get it from google easily and uh, click on new and then give it a name so let me give it name one two eighteen that's the version okay so i have uh, created one two eighteen and uh, it's a linux and it's a one two sixty four bit okay click on next and then assign memory so it's a 1 gb let's give it uh, about 2 gb click on next and uh, create a new hard disk now yes and the size is 10 gb so click on create next dynamic so by default it's 10 gb uh, give it that plus 16 10 gb is also enough for uh, linux so go to settings and uh, give it to CPU, virtual CPU it is, and then uh, network, that's good. And under storage, you need to attach the ISO file. So click on this CD button over here and select choose a disk file. So I have attached to one to eighteen dot zero four dot three and then uh, click on ok and let's start the vm vm is starting now i'm going to skip the video because it is going to take few minutes and i will be back okay so select your language and then network configuration just click on done proxy address not going to use click on done we are going to use entire disk and uh, this is the disk okay click on done and here click on continue and now you need to provide the username okay so let's uh, me server name ubuntu 18 and just keep it me provide a password okay and click on done and here please install open ssh server okay so just hit the space and then tab and go to done and click on enter okay now it is going to install ubuntu 18 okay and i will be back once the installation is complete it will take 10 to 20 minutes depending upon your disk speed cpu speed okay so we'll be back so it's 12 m happy new year to all 2022 So installation is complete and I have rebooted the server and here it says remove the installation media and then press center. So go to settings, storage and here it is already removed. So you can click on it. So if you are installing using CD or DVD then yes definitely you need to remove your CD or USB drive before rebooting it. So now it's booting and uh, I think it took me about uh, 10 minutes. Okay, so this is login screen and uh, let's log in using the user. So that is me and then the password 
so I am successfully logged in so let's change the root password so we do passwd root and enter your user password and then enter root password over here and then confirm and it is updated successfully something is going on still okay so this is done so let's do network configuration for this vm so command is ipa to check the address so here the ip address is 10.0.2.15 okay so to change the network address you need to go to etc slash net plan okay and here there is a file 50 cloud in it .yml. there might be some cfg file okay so whatever the file you have as per the distribution if it is dot ml open that in nano so nano 50 cloud in it .yml. okay here you can see enp s03 that is the name of my ethernet or nick okay and right now it's a dhcp4 version 2 so i'm going to assign a static ip to this uh, server so i will write it it's no so this is a yaml file so you know you need to give spaces rather than tab keep in mind that it's a yaml file please remember that i'm going to use addresses in in place of uh, dhcp addresses okay and again to come over there don't press tab press space key ip address that is 192.168.38 slash 24 so this is the subnet hit enter and then write gateway here gateway is not that much important so i have uh, kept it as gateway 4 but there is no address so I think this is the address of my virtual Vox host only adapter. So that's not an issue. And then the name servers. Okay, name servers. Give it to a space and then write addresses. And then hit enter. And then so you can provide multiple name servers. Okay. So right now I'm going to give the address of my domain controller. So this is 192.168.11.11. And then I will give the address of 8.8.8 .8 .8, that is the DNS of Google. Okay. So this is actually array. So that's why I used a square bracket. Okay. So that's it you need to save the file so let me just uh, go through this so this is ethernet dscp no address okay so that this is actually addresses okay that's fine now then to space gateway okay so it looks good let's save this file okay so control x and it says save modified buffer press buy and the file name is correct hit enter and now just to check we can write cat and uh, 550 cloud and uh, looks good so now we need to apply it so let's apply this configuration and the command is net plan apply okay so if you are not root please use sudo otherwise uh, without sudo that's fine okay so there is no issue i think all good let's check the ip address now and here you can see it's changed to 192.168 i open power cell so let's try to ping ping 192.168.11.38 and it is not reachable uh, because uh, uh, let me just change the settings so by default network is uh, NAT but in my case 
I'm going to use Brezhnet adapter because you know uh, I have a uh, two different host okay and uh, the domain controller is on different host and then on the host there is a virtual machine that is attached to bridge adapter okay so click on okay and then let's try again let's try from the virtual machine so it's 192.68 okay so from virtual machine it is reachable and uh, now it's uh, working from my host as well okay so networking looks good right now now we need to create dns entries for this vm okay so that we can uh, ping it using the name okay so right now if i ping one to 18 i will get request timeout okay and host name you can say it's so 1 to 18 but it is not going to ping so let me start my domain controller so let's ping domain controller okay so it is reachable actually i have a core server okay so you can use command to create dns entry okay but uh, what i did is actually i have installed rset tool on one of the gui machine so that i can connect the dns from there and uh, i can use gui to configure that there is also a single line command that you can use so this is my domain controller it's a core server so you need to use powershell command to create um, dns entry and the command is simple add dns server resource record and then the zone name that is the domain so zone name is actually uh, babos 3.0 and then the name that is uh, ubuntu 18 and then the ip address okay so it's ip v4 address and uh, that is 192.168.11.38 okay and uh, to create pointer or reverse lookup you can just uh, use a, a flag that is uh, create ptr okay create ptr okay so i if i just hit enter it will create the dns entry but let me show you from the GUI as well. So this is one GUI server that is uh, joined to that domain. So I have already installed RSET tools on the server. So here you can see it's a DNS. You can simply go to manage and add roles and features. So click on uh, DNS. And if you are, uh, you know, adding the first time, it will ask this computer. So you need to provide the IP address of your domain controller. Okay, so I have already given, so it's not asking again. So this is the domain controller IP address. And uh, here you can see it, few DNS entries are already there. And this is reverse lookup zone that is already created. Okay, so these are the pointers. Okay, so if I just right click and click on new host, and then I will give the name check mark this one by default it is check mark just make sure it is checked mark okay and click on add host so this has created one entry over here and if you go to reverse lookup and uh, refresh this you will get one entry over here it will provide you from IP to name resolution as well okay so now let's go to the host 2 and now try to ping using name and here you can see i am able to ping using name as well okay so this is how we configure uh, networking for uh, any linux server it's uh, only for the name regulation means i have not added this uh, server to domain actually 
okay so this is how you install ubuntu and how to create a dns entry so this is actually related for this com administration guide so that's why i have created this video because someone is not familiar with the linux system how to install it so you can use this video and uh, install and configure the dns okay so that's it for this video i hope you get some new information from here and thanks for watching see you in the next one and happy new year